Woo. Well, folks, we made it down to the fishing spot. We are meeting up with my boy BJ from 402 Outdoors, and we are going to be doing some dangling. Now, I don't even know what we're really going after, to be honest with you. Uh, he told me that this spot was freaking juice for catfish, but there's also literally anything in here. It's kind of like the spillway, roaring water, river, raft. I don't know what honestly is going on right now. It's been a while. Uh, it took us a couple hours out to, to get out here, um, but we brought a bunch of catfishing stuff. Didn't really bring much bass fishing stuff, more of like the live bass. Uh, type deal but today's goal is to complete a catch clean cook and I don't care what it is I just want to go out to the river and catch something to bring home for lunch that is today's objective so see you guys down by the water Look at this thing, folks we got a giant waterfall look at this there's a, so there's a river up there flows down to a river down here and uh, we made it we got BJ so you excited oh yeah You've been you've been here for a little while. Yep, I a little pre-fish. What's up? Would you, would you do a little bit of free fishing? Yeah, I was trying to catch a flatty. I don't know. I figured it, I figured instead of sitting at home, I might as well come out here and see. Yeah. So no bites on the flat for the flatties though yet. No bites yet on the flatties. I got one little channel right there. But yeah. Other than that, I don't know. I haven't. No, I've been. You've been out here that long though. No, I was only out here. Well, I got out here like an hour before, but I was kind of just messing around and gotcha. doing that type stuff. But gotcha. So he just caught this little. Uh, channel right here that's a little jimmy right there this is a little live little. so i mean like i said today's plan isn't really there's not really a plan it was just come see this really sick spot uh, bj told us about this i was like dude i gotta i gotta come out here and check it out see what it's all about i've never fished anything like this and the crazy thing about a place like this is literally anything could be living in here any type of species of fish that lives in a river could be living right here and they're all going to be pushed up here because bait flows over there's good oxygen nice cool water i mean you were talking about the dog days of summer this is like a little oasis for any type of fish. So BJ's been using bullheads, uh, like live bullheads, which if you guys missed the video, he put me on a giant flathead. And so we're going after that a little bit, but again, more or less, I'm just trying to catch some fish. So I'm gonna throw on some night crawlers and just whatever else I can find and see if we can catch something and make something happen. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks, so rigging up a night crawler rig. So we've got these delicious worms, a little bit nasty and old, but I think they should work. Oh yeah. Look at that creepy crawly guy. So, like I said, we're starting off with the basics. BJ's already got the, you know, the bullheads, the big fish type rods covered. I'm going after channels or I guess really whatever, whatever bites. But just got a little bait hook here. So we'll go ahead and thread this guy on a whole bunch. Sorry if the audio sucks. It's pretty freaking loud out here, so I'll try to yell at you. Just go ahead and rig this guy up with a night crawler. Something like that. Let's give this guy a little chuck out here. I'm kind of nervous because I've got like, uh, I don't know, a 10 pound line on here. Oh, we got far left. Oh god, yeah. We're hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, see, are we under? We're under. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh god. Channel. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
Uh oh. Is that fish? It's gotta yeah. be, right? Should I let him eat it? Or take it? What are you thinking? I'll let you do it. I, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> I mean, he ain't gonna leave, I don't think, right? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is the old stink bait tactic now. Evan, what do you think I should do? Should I, set, should I set the hook or no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says yeah. Alright, I'll do what you say, Evan. Don't worry. <laughs> lies, Evan, lies. Is this one okay still or do you need to dip yeah, it? Yeah, I'll probably redo it. Oh yeah, so I haven't ever showed this on my, my channel. How do, I want to see how you do this. Ew. Yeah, it's uh, Ew. I mean, you can use your hands if you want, but yeah, I'm I'd, good. I'd rather use a stick. Yeah, that's nice. That's smart. Just kind of... A little, little marination. Oh yeah, marinate it a little bit. So it's literally not even anything. It's just a, a, a I don't even know, a paste. Yeah, it kind of is just... And that's it. Yeah, basically it's just... I don't, I'm sure... What does a catfish... What, like what makes a catfish go up to that and be like, oh hell yeah, lunchtime. You know what I mean? I don't know. Nasty. I literally don't know. Yeah, it's, it. it's not exactly appetizing, but Eesh. it works. Eee, it stinks. I oh. you taste it. No, no. We need to do a challenge where Banjo's gonna lose and then do that. 10 pound catfish today. I will taste it. Really? <laughs> all right. Evan, are you gonna lie to me again? Let him eat it. Okay, so now Evan's changed his tactic. He said, all right, I'll let him eat it. Let him eat it? They're, what if, they might just be little guys, huh? Yeah, it could. I can't get it. We'll, we'll see if they, if they give it a good bend, we'll give her hell. I feel like if you could like get a night crawler and then put a sponge over it and then dip it, you know, it'd make a stinky crawler. Maybe just came up with something, let's patent it. How'd I know that was gonna happen? Oh God, yeah. It's the old glizzy. Get a shot of Evan right now, what's Evan doing? You got it. What are you using for bait, Evan? Goldfish. Goldfish? Yeah, I'm Ripped fine. in Nemo, huh? <laughs> yeah, how I ripped that guy. Yeah. Well, your bass pole was not. I didn't bring any. BJ told me that it was catfish duty. No, ba no bass catfish. today. You need goldfish. I need goldfish. Goldfish, you can catch a 25 do, pound do I, flathead. Where do you go, Petco? Oh, bait shop. Where's the bait shop? I'll call my now. They will bring you down goldfish. They'll bring me goldfish. Yeah, they will. No. Yeah, they will. I don't, I'll call him right now. No, it's okay, Evan, it's okay. I don't need him to bring me goldfish. <laughs> Unless it's the snack that smiles back, so I'm kind of hungry. All right, 10th worm of the day. Let's try this again. That's a little big booty Judy right there, buddy. I love that one. Let's see what happens. Little drum. You got drum fish. Evan, Evan says it's good cut bait. It's good. I'm over here retying tying because I broke off. You got a little drummy. Should I make, should I, we eat that, make it sushi or no? I was say, have you ever ate yeah. drum? No, I've never ate. I've had it, it's not bad. It was a little, we, I think they said it, we under or, or overcooked it. Oh, I think really? we under. I, I, the oil was a little hot. It tasted fine, it was the texture. I, I mean, you can add them to the cook if you want. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll eat them. Throw them in the well. Throw them in the old line well. I mean, figured we might as well have a fillway buffet. Whatever we catch, we eat, you know, within reason. We're not gonna eat like an 80 pound flathead, but whatever we catch, we're gonna eat. That's gonna be the plan. So we've got, so far, a channel catfish and a drum. I don't know. You're a good fisherman. Oh, I'm not a good fisherman, no. Yeah, you are. Uh -huh. A good bass fisherman. Yeah, I'm not a bass fisherman, though. You're the cat lord. I'm kind of good. I'm not the five, uh, eight pound bass at my farm pond. Really? Yeah. You caught one? Uh, so how are you bad fisherman? It's a big fish. In my business. Sounds like a good fish to me. My buddy Evan here, just met him. Awesome kid. He just caught a freaking gar. He's bringing it over. There you go. You, you gonna eat him? No. No, not catching cook worthy? I'll eat, with, I'll eat him with you. With you me? Know? Yeah. Where are we cooking him? Will I? Where? Yeah, Will. Who? Where you wanna cook Oh, where? Him? Yeah, I don't know. Where are we gonna cook him? You got a fire catch cook spot around here? A fire? We can build uh, a fire right here. Throw a fire. Yeah, a fire, yeah, right here, right here. Do it. You want to build a fire? Yeah, I do. Huh? I don't have a, do you have a fire starter? I don't have anything. I didn't, Evan, I wasn't planning on eating it out here. Come on. I don't have a Do you have a play knife? No, I don't even have a play knife. I just throw them on the fire. I got a pocket knife. A pocket knife? Yeah. Play, I, you, how you are you going to start a fire? Rubbing sticks together? You want to go to my house? You wanna, I mean, sure. You got a grill? Yeah. But we, we can put him in the, uh, the live well. Yeah, that's and right. then if we don't want him, we can throw him back. All right, sounds good. Well, folks, it's been a hot minute since we got a bite. We're going to see if we can catch a couple of these little guys. Well, maybe. I mean, not guaranteed little, but we're getting a lot of little bites. It seems like they can't take it, so I put on this little, tiny little bluegill hook, and I'm going to rig this up just like you would for bluegill, and let's see if we can catch anything. What's Evan doing? 
goldfish and I'll have to Really? This is bottom goldfish. The hell, Evan? I got your goldfish! Evan, he's got your goldfish. What's going on right now? Oh. Look at this transaction going on. Right Evan, you're getting the fish fired up right now for me. Thanks, buddy. You might have a bite, boys. You have a bite? Evan, I, Evan I think I have a bite. <laughs> no, wait. Evan! You told me to set the hook. <laughs> what the? Evan. What the heck, Evan? Yo, this is like the third time you've lied to me. You, fish here, you got it. You got it. Come on, go ahead, Evan. You got it. Oh God, watch out. I expect nothing shy of 40 pound flathead from you, Evan. Wait, watch this. Okay, alright, I'm waiting. Oh, I'm waiting, don't you worry. I bet you 100 bucks I can. 100 have. bucks? Evan. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a ballsy statement, Evan. I bet you a fishing pole. A fishing pole? One of them fishing pole. Alright. Okay. Yeah, sure. How long do you get? What? How long? How long? I don't even got a river A hundred dollars. How, how, how long do you have until you catch a fish? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Gee, we got all day, Evan. All day, okay, all day. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. That's his wager. He got oh, some. Oh, he got some. Evan. Oh, you're snagged. Evan, you're oh, snagged. snagged. That means you have to give me one of your rods, no, Evan. Oh, he's going in for it. Rip. I think I need to keep Evan oh, around. We got one, we got one. Oh, God. That far one. Oh, he's just taking it hard. Oh, it's still going! Oh, we're hooked up! We're hooked up! Oh, God! Oh, God! Red. Oh, God! We're hooked up! Evan! Evan, we got one, Evan! Evan, come get this fish, Evan! Oh, God! We got one, son! Evan, you got it! You wanna grab her? Yeah, I'm gonna jump in for Go get it, Evan! Evan, I'm relying on oh, you right now! That's a blue! Really? That's oh, a yeah, blue. it is a blue! I've never got a blue out of here. Really? Shoot! That is sweet. Good job, Evan. Evan, you were distracting us over there. You almost took my rod in. Yeah. It's not all my fault. It's all. No, it's all your fault, Evan. Let's be honest here. Look at that guy. Good job, bud. I got a knife, Evan. Uh, too late. You got teeth. I'm a real fisherman. You're a real fisherman. I, I believe you now. Are you eating that guy or what? You want to eat him with me? With you? Yeah. Where at your house? Yeah, that's really. If, if you want it, I don't care. Yeah, that's do it at my house. Okay, put him in the live well. Evan got a blue. Imagine that. Well, folks, we are uh, we're gonna head out here. Evan is on wrangle duty. He's gotta catch the fish out of the live well, and we're gonna take it home and eat it. <laughs> Come on, Evan, we're you got to wrangle him out of our live well. I believe in you, Evan, right there. Okay. <laughs> you get him, Evan. You let him go right here, right here. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> Evan. Oh, behind you. There, right here, right here. Look at that. Oh, there's one. There's three of them in here. There oh, you go. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm glad I got him. Oh, we got him. Yes. We got him. That's the channel. Man. That the oh, that's the channel. Oh, which one? Should we just take them both? Take him. Yeah, take him. All right, I'll take them. Go ahead, throw them in there. We get those spillway buffet. Take three. And we get the no, no, no. We got Come two. On, take three. Three what? Where's the other one? The other one might be like over in here. Or something. That one little channel that I caught that was in here at the beginning should still be in here somewhere. That's cut bait now. Oh yeah. All right, we're good. Thank yeah. you, Evan. Appreciate it. Yeah. We'll catch you next. I, I'll, we'll go fishing sometime. Go bass fishing. Yeah. I don't know. Come to I, my pond or something. I say we get him to the, to the old flare farm. I'm down. You can't drive though, can you? No, I can't. Rip. You can Uber there. It will pay. I'll pay for your Uber. I'll have Banjo come get you. That's fine. So, yeah. Banjo come pick you up. Well, folks, we made it back to the house. A uh, big shout out to BJ for 402 Outdoors. He will be linked down below. He's got a YouTube channel. He's the one who put me on that giant flathead. Uh, but we made it back home. You guys saw us. We cleaned some of those catfish up. We got the fillets ready. We are going to do a head to head competition. Well, not really competition. We're going to see which one we like better the blue or the channel. They're both summertime muddy river fish, which 
sandwich. It's not always the greatest, so we want to um, we want to get the authentic taste. We don't want to just fry it. We don't want to make it crab cakes or catfish cakes, whatever we did last time. We are thinking about smoking it. So we've got this guy right here. We're ready to fire this guy up, and we're going to get her ripping on smoky mode. And basically, then we're going to season it, maybe put a little bit of hot sauce on it. We do have a new prototype duck seasoning we're going to try as well. It's kind of like a spicy buffalo. Basically, it's what we use all the time uh, for frog legs and wild game. So we're going to try a little bit of that salt, pepper, you know, just the use. And we're going to try smoking it and kind of see kind of see what happens. So with that being said, let's get the old grill going. Flicker to on, flicker to smoky, and leave the lid open. Wait, yes, leave the lid open until it starts to smoke. And then you close, well, actually, normally when you do it, you're supposed to leave it open until it starts smoking, and then you, maybe it's to get more oxygen in there to get, to get it fired up or something. Either way, once this thing starts smoking, we're gonna shut it, and then you wanna heat it up to like 220, 225, or something like that. So we'll let this grill kind of do grill things, and let's go inside and get this catfish ready. Boom! Here is the fish, folks. As you can see right here, we've got the little guy. This is the blue. Yes, this is the blue, and this is the channel. The channel is surprisingly larger, as you guys can see here. It's, I mean, they're significantly different. One of them was really skinny, and one of them was pretty fat. So, channel and then blue. We're going filet versus filet. So, you might be wondering, how do you season this? A lot of times you do like a brine if you're gonna do smoking or a marinade. We ain't got time for that. So, what we do have time for though, is this guy. This is duck seasoning. This is the all meat seasoning. Paired up with, this is prototype seasoning that we're still working on. So, this is just good for literally all things, everything, all meat. So, give it a good healthy sprinkle. A little salt, pepper, garlic action. And then you got this guy right here. So this is a very, we're leaning towards the more spicy side of things. So, you know, it's gonna be good for catfish. I love a good spicy catfish. So go ahead and just throw some of this on there. Pack it in like this. And like I said, you could really, I mean, you know, you could let this sit for a little bit if you guys had the time. We don't have a ton of time. Plus, I mean, it's gonna sit on the smoker for like two hours. So it'll it'll have the time to, to sit then at that point. So go ahead and flip them. Same thing, cover them up like this. Cover this guy up and then take some of this guy for a little spot. Oh, rip. Get a little rub-a-dub in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's going to do it there, folks. That is going to do it. All right. She's all seasoned up. Let's go throw her on the grill. Shoot! Look at all the smoke going on right there. My eyes are burning. Throw that guy down. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's it, folks. We got to make sure we're, we're cooking up. I mean, right now we're only at 200. And so, I mean, you keep you can keep it on smoke at 200 or you can crank it up. You're supposed to smoke around 200 to 215. So we're gonna let this guy sit for, I mean, it said two-ish hour. We do have the probes to probe the meat to make sure it's up to time. I think it's like 145 for fish. So we'll kind of double check that. We're gonna let this thing smoke for at least an hour. Come on, check it, and then kind of go from there. So you guys stay tuned. Phew! Well, folks, we got the old catfish on the smoker. It's been going for about 30 minutes now, um, but we made it down to the pond. Anybody wondering what are we doing at the pond? Well, we're showing Lucy here how it's done no not really we're, we're actually so we've been we've been debating okay we've been debating what's the next big project folks i mean like i moved into this place about a year ago had it for a year it's been great done some stuff done a lot of stuff what's the next do i need to go get another property or do i just keep developing this one and me banjo pool jack kind of did some brainstorming and we kind of came up with an idea of what we should do with regards to this property you know without going out and buying a new property for no reason i've got lots of space i mean you guys never even see this side you guys see where the pond is here you guys usually see that side but we've got I don't know, 35 40 acres of just forest and filled with squirrels and deer and all sorts of good stuff that we never really get to explore with you guys and so we kind of were brainstorming okay now what could we do with this side of the property my initial plan was just to kind of make it deer hunting which is fine but the thing is, is like you don't need to dedicate 35 acres to just deer i feel like that's kind of a waste i'm not that big of a deer hunter like it'd be kind of cool obviously to shoot a big buck but like i wouldn't be heartbroken if i didn't so i'm like what could we do with this and so what is she what eating what is your dog eating Melly. sounds like rocks what are you munching on there buddy oh she's munching on something so one idea i think we maybe potentially have said this in a video at one point but our big plan and the reason why i'm telling you guys in this video is because i genuinely want your feedback because literally if you guys don't want me to do this i'm not going to do it and if you really want me to do it then i'm going to try my best to do it and i'm also needing some advice for those of you veterans with regards of building ponds specifically building up dams so this dam was obviously built from this creek so there's a creek that ran through and it goes down into here so we have played paintball down here we've done survival shelters down here and stuff like that and this dam was built i don't know probably before i was born but what i want to do is look at all this so this is still my property and it goes for quite a ways i mean i would say you know that's probably two three acres or so of low-lying ground 
and it's all marshy. You can see all the cattails. It's all marshy because this pond, it drains right there. It's where we were just standing. Lucy, peeing? Oh, sorry to interrupt. Where we were just standing is where, what do you, what This you is what she was chewing on. Looks like a top or a bottom jaw of something. Nice, I like that. That's good for the intestines, I heard. But this pond drains, it's got an overflow, and it drains down into there. So it's all swampy, and then it kind of turns into a creek. So one idea that I had, I even had about a year ago, was to, what if we built a dam way on that backside, and turned that low area that you guys just saw into a pond. So you can see here, this is the bridge, because you guys missed this video. We, we redid this bridge, made it look better, but essentially the ex excess pond water goes there, and then runs all the way down there and fills that up. So if you keep going this way, I'm out of breath, I'm just walking around, I don't know why, it's freaking hot out here. But if you kind of walk up this way, we played paintball up here, we've done stuff like that. This is, I'm actually thinking about putting a food plot in, honestly, for deer. If you knocked out this little terrace right here, I mean, you could leave it, but this is really nice flat ground. You could turn this into a nice, I don't know, maybe half acre size food plot for deer. And then they come out and come in, come out from the thicket to right here and you've got open shot. But if you climb your way up this hill and you kind of come around, we've done some trapping over here as well, but Millie's leading the way. So you don't want to fall in there. That would be a big botch. I think I did that during the paintball match. And then you keep going this way. You follow this around here. And you also don't want to fall in here. This is also a danger zone pool jet. So watch yourself. That looks fun. Yeah, probably need to fill that in. So keep coming around here. So perspective, pond's right over there. You keep walking this way and then boom, there's a big flat area, flat-ish open, relatively open area back here, probably half acre or so. We have set some traps out here in the past, so some of you guys might recognize this, but in just a nice big flat area. And if honestly, if you wanted to cut some of these trees out, like down here, there's a ton of area. I mean, this is, I don't know, probably a hundred by 75 or so. It's a big area. Yeah. And it look like, it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Cause we kind of are, we but are. the idea would be to put a cabin here. So clear all this out. I mean, it's gonna take a while to flatten it. It's not as flat as it seems uh, to your eye. It's like, oh, it's kind of flat. Flatten it out, build an off grid cabin, but then it gets even better. So you've got, imagine a nice off-grid cabin right here, lots of space tucked back in there. Then you go down this trail, and this trail we would have to mow down and kind of fix a little bit, but follow it straight down here. Yep, Lucy's got the right idea. Yep, keep going. Yes, yep, keep going right down here. Oh yeah, it gets pretty steep, watch yourself. All right, so, oh, keep going. We haven't made it down to the bottom yet. So again, you're talking about the cabin back there, following this nice steady trail all the way down. It's a nice, it's actually a nice trail. Oh God, evenly sloped. I'm about dying over here. I'm trying to think which direction I go from here. Oh God, there's a hole right there. I think here. Oh yeah. Hey dogs, hey, go back, go back, come on, go back. Go back. Cheese and rice. This is further than I thought. All right, so keep following. But again, once it's mowed down and stuff, you've got your path all the way down to, now you guys might recognize this. No, I like that path. That's no, a good I, path. I like that one too. Yeah, that one's good. Boom. That is the survival shelter. So the dam of the other pond is up there. This is, yeah, I know. Isn't that a heck of a trail? That. That's crazy, right? All the dogs just took off. So this is like behind the dam where I just showed you. I'll walk over there so you can see it. And I'm, I keep repeating myself just because I really want to get you guys an overall perspective of where we're talking about it. And get you guys' thoughts on it. So here's that survival shelter. Remember we played paintball and stuff out here. And then there's your pond dam right there. That's the dam. You can hear the water. The water's rolling. So it kind of cuts through this and this is all flat. I mean, this is really flat and marshy ground. And oh yeah, here's the creek right here. Yep, right there, there's your creek. And it all flat. Actually, I think there's another one right here. So it kind of splits. Anyway, what I'm saying is I want to build up a dam, okay? Now I want to build it up further back there than here. But essentially this, we'd be underwater right now. We'd be scuba diving. This would be a whole pond all the way up to the top of that dam. And we'd get a whole nother pond. And honestly, that water would probably come up and back up in there quite a bit to where it wouldn't be quite as far from the cabin. So you basically could walk a short ways down from the cabin down to the water and you'd have water access oh hey how's it going you have a, you would have some water access there as well so i need your guys help is that a good idea how hard do you think it would be to build a dam in a place like this it is it's a little it's a little moist it's not terrible and what do you think about the off-grid cabin because i'm thinking if i built the off-grid cabin basically the cabin would have its own lake essentially because the cabin would be attached to this i mean the water the water would go way back in there i mean it would be a big pond honestly it'd probably be at least half of the size of my current pond we'd get a whole nother pond to stock, to manage. Maybe we put some different species in it. We, maybe we make it only for, you know, a certain species that you guys want me to raise or grow or whatever it might be. And we get a whole nother pond and we get a cabin way back in the woods in this area we don't really explore much. So it'd give us kind of a reason to come back here, hunt, fish, whatever. And then down here is where the dam would be. So my property line runs right here. Lucy and Millie are down in the creek. My property line runs right along here. So again, here's your trail. Cabin's up there. Come down here. So this would be the dam right here. You'd have to fill this in like this low spot you would just come in and you would fill it in all the way across let it naturally fill up from the other pond you get a pond and a cab i know i'm blabbering a lot but it's an idea that i've had and i wanted to pitch it to you guys do you like that idea do you not like that idea you want to see us build a new pond from scratch and do you want to see us build an off-grid cabin in the backyard comment down below anyways let's go check on our catfish 
Well, folks, we're back at the grill, and shablam! There she is. We got her probed up, and they are of temperature, these guys off. So we've got tin foil. That's nice and toasty. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. So I, what I was told is you're supposed to flip this over and let the juice and let the juices fall back on. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be smart about this. You do this, and you do this, and then you do that. Seal it in. Keep the juices in there. We'll let that guy cool off a little bit. Give her the old taste. Here we are. This is the final product here. So this is the blue. Give this a little cut. Let's see, is it flaky? Uh, honestly, it probably could go for a little bit longer, but we're gonna give it a try. I mean, it was up to temp. It just isn't as flaky as I expected, but it's also catfish. Okay, so this is the blue. A flavor, that's seasoning. But it's not catfishy, believe it or not. That's hot, that's spicy. That is spicy, all right. I'm going for the channel now. Oh yeah. It's moist. This might be like the moist, most moist fish I've ever had. I'm pretty sure it's cooked. It doesn't seem like it's undercooked. Wow. All right, pull jab. You gotta get in here before I give you any opinions. That is fire. So give her, give her hell there, buddy. Go ahead and yeah, start, try, yeah, try right there. It's the it's most- kind of tough. Yeah, I know. It's the most juicy Dude. fish though. Like it's just, all the juices are in there. Oh wow, it is. They didn't escape. Oh wow. Yeah. We got the flavor, flavor. good. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's spicy. That's really good. Hits you, hits you right in the kisser, you know? Gets you good. Pretty juicy though. You like that? You're right, yeah. So you give it, give that piece a little try. Oh yeah. So that's the channel. Like looking good. decent, looking decent. Does it taste much different? A little bit? Or Honestly, no? they taste pretty similar. Okay. Just this one's a little more mushy than that one. Than that one. Yeah. Gotcha. If Other you had, than that, if the you, flavor... The flavor's good. Really good. Super yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never had... <laughs> bless you. I've never had fried, or I've never had smoked catfish before. I'm not a big fan of smoked stuff either. Really? Mm -mm. You're not a big smoky guy? No. I feel like, how could you not be? What, what do you dislike about it? I don't know. Like, fish dip is... That's good. When it's smoked, but okay, that was a better piece. That tastes smoky. I had a smoky taste on that last one. Uh, that's what mine was. You had that smoky, <laughs> yeah. dude. I, I'm good, a fan. Though. I like the smoky. I gotta try one more piece of the blue. I got some good smoke flavor off that piece, though. So far, I'm extremely impressed. I will say that, dude. I don't know if I would want catfish any other way. I don't know. I don't think I could go back. I'm still eating it. This is like the most I've just, I just physically want to eat this. It's so tender, so juicy. I do have a little bone. I think the channel's better. Yeah. I like it better. That's my vote. The channel is better. I mean, it, and it could have to do with the size. I mean, I keep going back and forth because I'm trying to really make my mind up and wrap my head around what's going on. Dude. They're all good. I think the channel is thicker. Maybe it's cooked better. They're very similar. I think the channel has a little less catfishy taste, the spice factor. Next time we catch a catfish, Banjo would lose his stuff if he tasted this right now. He would freak out. Cause it's so different from what we normally do with fish, especially fish, but it's different from what we do for everything. I mean, literally just, I can't stop eating it. Just, just season it up, throw it on the old smoker. I'm quacking. That's not I got a little bone there. I got, no, that was sand. Oh. Oh, yeah. Even better. That tastes like the river. My, my vote's channel. Your vote? Channel. Channel. Well, folks, there you have it. I will, I mean, I, I feel like we're stepping it up. I say this every catch, but I feel like we are stepping up our catch and cook. Catch and cook. I just shot something. What was that? I don't know where oh, that you, came you from. you projected that one. Oh, oh. God, that one, that one left, really? the, left the, the, the thing. Anyways, I feel like I say that every time is we're stepping up our game because we really are. We're trying. We're putting more effort. It's not like, oh my gosh, we've had such a long day of fishing. Let's just throw it in, in Frank's flour and throw it in the, the fryer and fry it up. We are taking our time, smoking it. We're also using the seasonings that we're developing to kind to tinker with them. Do you have any complaints about the seasoning? I feel like it's about no, ready to rock good. and roll. It was right. it was good. That was the first time I, I had tried it on fish. I tried it on like steak chicken stuff you can go buy at the store. Uh, but I mean, you can buy fish at the store, but you guys get it like the white catfish. We usually don't find the store. First time I tried it on that, absolutely fire. Have no complaints. Plus the ducks all meat was obviously on there, but the smoking, I feel like I gotta go smoke a bunch of other stuff because I like that smoke flavor. If you guys like it, I would highly recommend it. It was super easy. I would say, I think it was in there for probably like an hour and 15. It wasn't two hours. No. So we, we put a thermometer in it and it, we, we pulled them out at like 150, I think it needs to be like 145 or something like that. So obviously you don't want to probe it because the, the recipe told me like two and a half hours would have been overcooked 100% if I, if I waited that long, but really enjoyed it. Thought it was good. Thought it was probably the best catfish we've had yet. I liked it better in fried. I liked it better than the patties. The patties were decent, but like to get a fish, your favorite as well. Yeah. To get that fishy taste, not like in a bad way, but like it tastes like you're eating fish, smoky, spicy, 
everything mixed together. I'm good. I'm happy with it. I think it was good. So overall, pretty happy with it. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, huge shout out to BJ for taking us out fishing, showing us the ropes, and, and doing all that. And Evan. Evan was a beast. I gave Evan one of my catfishing rods, so hopefully he goes out and catches a catfish on one of those. If you guys want to see more of Evan, I'm thinking about bringing him to the farm and having him hang out with us for the day. If you guys want to see more of Evan, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, thanks for watching, and peace.